His is one of the great American sagas. Some say the greatest. Thomas Edison's amazing career ended with more than a thousand patents collected. From his invention lab in Menlo Park, New Jersey, Edison churned out the first versions of items that provide light and record moving pictures. And he initially tested that invention known as the phonograph in 1877. Edison spent most of his early years learning to master the telegraph. That inspired him to create his first invention, the stock ticker. He sold it to Western Union for $40,000 because he had higher goals. I'll produce a minor invention every month and a major one every six months. Edison used the money to start his invention lab in Menlo Park, a place where he turned tinfoil into a way to play back his own voice. Edison had already come up with a way to repeat Morse code messages over the telegraph, but he thought the same concept could be used with sound. Starting with paraffin paper, before moving on to tinfoil, Edison hand-cranked his new invention to record his voice through a vibrating needle. By late 1877, he had built the first working phonograph model, ready to tweak in the months and years to come. He named it the phonograph. It became the sensation of the day and age. His first recording into his new photograph was never saved, but he relived that moment 50 years later with a newer version of the device. The uh, first words I spoke in the original phonograph, a uh, little piece of practical poetry. Mary had a little lamb, its feet were white as snow, and everywhere that Mary went, the lamb was sure to go. By 1878, Edison had been issued the patent for the device, number 200,521. He had showcased it and had the phonograph featured prominently in the journal Scientific American. But for the device to catch on to the mainstream, he had to develop a way for recordings to last longer than the tinfoil ones that would break apart after just a few plays. It took 10 years, but Edison finally developed a replacement in the form of wax cylinders. The vibrating needle would make indents on the outside of the cylinder and then play it right back. The phonograph proved the recording method could work, and after foil turned to wax cylinders, discs were introduced as the preferred method for sustainable playback. Edison never stopped tinkering with the phonograph through his death in 1931. But 54 years earlier, he had created the precursor to the record players that would launch the world into the age of music. From the needle that scratched the tinfoil, a million dollar industry was born. The phonograph was born on the floor of Edison's invention factory and eventually adopted in all corners of the globe. Despite creating some of the most world transforming inventions, Edison always called the phonograph his favorite.